thousand pieces of eight handed down to Applegate from buccaneers who fought for years for gold doubloons and pieces of eight handed down in a pirate's chest the gold they sailed for east and west the treasure bright that made men fight till none were left to bury the chest so now the gold and pieces of eight all belong to Applegate the chest is here but wait now, where are those gold doubloons and pieces of eight, pieces of eight, pieces of eight? Today's episode in the mystery of the Applegate treasure, a real case. Minding my own business. Gee, imagine your own father wearing a gun tucked under his belt. Huh? I mean, instead of a watch chain, or a gear's tooth, or suspenders like mine. That's because my father's only a doctor. You mean one of those policemen is somebody's father? Joe and Frank's, of course. Only he's really a private detective in the city. I wonder what he's doing in that police car anyway. Say, you don't know anything, do you? Oh, who cares? Gotta go someplace to mow the lawn. Say, who are you anyway? I never saw you before. Perry Robinson. Well, look what you've done. That's my mother's eyebrow pencil you broke. I'm sorry, but look, I've only been in Bayport a few days. And if those policemen are friends of yours... But wait till I tell her you sat on her lipstick and made Mr. Hardy see me looking funny and... Say... If he was in that car, then he's home from the city. And if that's so, something terrific is going to happen. Because Joe's just been waiting all summer. But now I'll have a real case to work on. Yay! Say something's going to happen. Hey, no rushing the ball carrier. Thanks, Mac. Hiya, Joe. What's cooking, huh? As if you didn't know. Uh, Joseph, for heaven's sake, you're still sopping wet. Oh, it's okay, Gertrude. Only why the greeting? What are you so excited about? As if you didn't know. Hi, Dad. Hey, Frank, as if he didn't know. Now, Frank's already got his clothes changed. You hurry it up. Now, come on, please, Joe. Hiya, Frank. Hey, Aunt Gertrude, somebody stole my other pair of pants. Dad, no. I'm sorry, son. Hey, Aunt Gertrude. I want to get your father's sandwich while the lettuce is... Guess to... what? Oh, Fenton. Where's your suitcase? Now, Gertrude, I... Oh, not again. He's not staying. He's got to go right back, almost. Can't even stay at his home one night. Now, that's ridiculous. He certainly can. Now, Fenton, you just take off your coat. Now, it's nothing to steam about, Gertrude. A job's a job. Oh, is that so? Fenton, how many times have I told oh, you... Oh, he's right, Aunt Gertrude. There's nothing we can do about it. Well... I hope Joe agrees with you as quickly. Well, you, you better come in and help me, Frank. There are a few papers I left in my desk. Hey, I can't hear anything. What are you talking about? Where is everybody? Wait a second, will you?
Remember when we took those? I sure do. Joe must have put them in there. He uses his desk to study them. told me to change shirts. Upstairs. Just because your father's here doesn't mean that you... I'm a nudist. Joseph! Hey, take it easy, son. I, I thought you guys were doing everything your Aunt Gertrude told you. And what makes you think they're not? Hey, why'd you come home in a Bayport police car, I can see the day I can't control a pair of young hoodlums. Well, one of the boys saw me getting off the train, gave me a lift, Fact, that's all. Fact, hardly since I've been managing this house. Hey, did the, the governor give you a medal or anything for winding up that case so fast? Get out of the way, Joe. Well, guy, you must have given him something for solving it so quick. You know, Fanny, if you'd stay home once in a while, you'd realize what good boys you do have. Oh, fiddly sticks. Stay once in a while. Oh, Joe, I, uh, I haven't wound up that case quite yet. What? Well, I explained to Frank while you were upstairs. I just came home to pick up some papers and see a couple of lawyers in town. I've got to go back to the city on the night train. But he told me that the summer we were... I know, Joe. I don't like these jobs that keep me in the city so much either. And I was hoping I'd get a vacation. Take you boys camping or fishing, maybe, but... <laughs> fishing? We were going to work on a real mystery together. Well, I... You didn't even remember. Joey! Joey, it's me, Iola! Oh, I hear you. Don't go away. Son, I want you to understand it. Can't you tell me what your case is? <sighs> Will you go away? Iola, maybe you'd better run along. But can't you come out? I don't want to. Well, can't you tell me what your mystery's going to be? Will you get out of here? Take your stupid pretend games and... Joe. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Son, I realize you're disappointed. I said I'm sorry. Look, I've got a job to do, that's all. And it's not really such an exciting job as you think. I don't believe it. I don't believe one word of it. You're always doing something exciting. All right, never mind. The important thing is you're just a boy. Well, what I mean is, I can't let you get mixed up with real danger, with real criminals and... Well, it wouldn't exactly have to be a murder case. Now, Frank, you're old enough to know what being a detective is really like. 90% of it is just dull routine. Filing and cross-filing and adding up two and two. I'd do anything to be a detective. Even arithmetic. There are boy detectives sometimes. Sure there are. Well, Guy, in the secret mystery files, I read about a boy who now, solved Joe, the case. Joe, uh, maybe it's all right in books for kids to go solving crimes and chasing crooks. But this is real. You're my sons. I can't let you get mixed well, up. That's just it. What's the... The good of being your sons. All right. You want a case, I'll give you one. You mean it? Of course I do. Now, Frank here tells me that the wire cutters are missing. Certainly no one would steal such a thing. So where did we mislay them? Now, if you'll just assemble all the clues, maybe we can solve... Oh, why don't parents ever understand anything? Well, why don't they?
Joe! Stop him! Get him! Get who? How should I know? I only stopped to fix my skates and this chemist came all over me. Iowa, what are you talking about? Joe, my purse! It's gone! He took it! I didn't see him, but... Joe, hurry! Joe, what's the matter with you? Look, Iowa, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, but I'm all through with pretend games now, so... So don't go inventing those wild stories anymore. What? From now on, I'm gonna grow up. Tomorrow's episode, The First Clue.